and welcome to the five best targets to image in August. We will pick our three favorite objects to photograph as beginners, and we'll tell you why. We'll also be adding two difficult targets for our more advanced viewers. Let's get to it! Welcome to August, one of the hottest months in ever, especially for us here in Vegas. Horrible. Anyway, so what are our favorite targets for this month? Uh, mine would be, I would go with the Helix Nebula, or the Eye of God, as they call it. Um, the Helix Nebula doesn't rise really high in the, in the horizon for us, but it's a really, really bright and fairly large target. It looks like the Ring Nebula, just bigger, um, and I really like it. If you do long enough exposures on it, you can actually see uh, a bunch of gas in the uh, outer shell. And then another target that we have is M27, which is the Dumbbell Nebula. But for me, I always see it like, it looks like the X from X-Files. So that's why it's one of my favorite beginner targets for this month. I just like to put that together. Yes, the X is only visible if you spend enough time on it. I believe it's some HA, I'm not sure, or, or oxygen. I think it's HA. But um, it's a great target for beginners as well. So the next one that we have for August is the Veil Nebula. And there are a couple actually. There is an East and West Veil Nebula. And there's also Pickering's Triangle, which is right there as well. They're very gorgeous. There's a lot of like blues and reds. So if that's something that you're really into, especially as a beginner, very gorgeous. I love it a lot. It's so um, dainty looking. It's also called the Witch, Witch's Room Nebula, by the way. Um, you can get all three of them with a white field lens on a DSLR camera, or you can get them individually with a telescope. And then for the two advanced targets, we have the North, North America, America <laughs> Nebula, uh, which, which looks like the North America uh, continent, especially the US. I think there is some Canada as well in there, and a bit of Mexico in there as well. Um, so you can um, photograph this North America nebula using a wide field telescope because it's a very very large target and uh, and um, yeah that's a, that's a great target it's full of HA as well and what's the last one the other advanced target that we have to suggest is the Seda region it's it's really an interesting target. If you look for the star Seder, you're gonna notice there's a lot of stuff around it, and that's that's it. The like, whole region. It, the the whole thing. Like it's it's really like difficult. Um, but if you're looking for a challenge, that's the perfect one for this month. Yeah, there's just so much gas, so much gas all around, and um, with a white telescope, you can get that as well as with just a lot of camera and lens. So yeah, those were the targets for this hot month. So we'll see you guys next month then. And uh, remember you can get our book if you want to get uh, a list of all the, the targets for the whole year and never run out of targets to photograph. Yeah man, look at all those summer targets. Oh hello, oh, North America Nebula. <laughs> Just talking about you. All right, we'll see you guys next time and kiss guys. guys.